So let's yeah. talk a little bit about some of the equipment that you manufacture. Uh, first, uh, I guess, starting with the DRM, what's that? Yeah, oh, there's a digital receiver multiplexer, um, and what it does is it, it is uh, used to capture the RF signals coming from terrestrial television. And um, it, it's really for uh, converting um, 8VSB and the programs that are contained in the 8VSB transport stream and capturing those and being able to groom those. So we actually have a DRMC which well, has up to eight different uh, tuners in the, uh, in the box so it can actually capture eight different uh, television stations programs and you can drop and insert any program uh, from those eight stations. Uh, so you might have 32 programs and you can drop and insert and ch pick and choose whatever whatever programs you want to let go through. And then that the output of that goes to, normally would go to a QAM modulator and RF output converter. At the same time, as an option, we can provide ASI output or we can provide ASI and RF output as well. Um, on the DRM, the other, the other issue, because you have so many tuners in the DRM, uh, if you have a must carry and you're, you must carry the main program and you don't want to carry the, 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 the subsidiary programs or the tertiary programs or, or any, other, any other service that are contained in the transport stream, you can basically drop those programs out and add your own, another uh, additional, uh, additional programs from an, either another broadcaster or some other service. Um, the main constraint there on all of our boxes is basically it's 256 QAM, so uh, you can do whatever you want on the input side, but the output side is basically limited to 38.8 megabits per second because that's the, 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 the transport rate of the QAM signal itself. If you have just an ASI output, well then you have up to 208 megabits per second, and if you had ASI, just an ASI output, well then you could take all of the programs from say eight different television stations and transport those over fiber, for instance. Um, and you can actually have both uh, RF and QAM at the same time if you want as an option. One of the interesting things about the DRM is that it will also take a QAM input besides just the 8 VSB. So that allows you to use it in other kinds of applications besides the head end, correct? So it, like it could be at an edge in an MDU or something like that where you want to cherry pick. That's that's correct too. Yeah, basically the tuners that are in the DRM actually will do 8 VSB, but they do do uh, QAM uh, demodulation as well. So if you wanted to cherry pick or do from an from an edge situation at an MDU, you could actually do that and then remodulate it. Uh, and uh, so you could put a number of these boxes at the edge and basically groom it at the edge and and say provide free to guest or something like that uh, into the hotel or the MDU.